For more than 100 years, they've been making pencils in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Once known as Pencil City because of all the pencil manufacturers, Shelbyville has only one pencil factory left, and it's the Musgrave Pencil Company. Musgrave is still owned by the great-grandson of the man who started the company more than a century ago. He shepherded the company through some tough times, competition from cheap foreign manufacturers, modernization, the pandemic which shut the company down for a while, and everything in between. But Musgrave and its devoted employees persevered. And today Musgrave stands as a monument to American quality, ingenuity, and adaptability. I found out about Musgrave through my good friend and artist Pam Luer. She told me she loved the pencils she recently bought and recommended I give them a try. So a few weeks back, I ordered several kinds of pencils and they arrived in just a couple of days. Along with my pencils was a handwritten note that simply read, Thank you for shopping with us, enclosed as a free sample. Words I always like to hear. So I hope you'll join me today as I put these pencils to paper to see what they can do. Well, my pencils arrived a dozen to a box. You can see they're nicely packed in here, like soldiers all in a row, ready to be used. I got a variety of pencils from Musgrave when I ordered. I, I wanted to order their harvest pencils because that's, that's what's on the side of their building, and I think they're fairly well known for that. And I wanted to order some of these cedar reds because these Tennessee red pencils, I think they're sourced with, with Tennessee cedar, and I, I hope they are. I'm not sure of that, but it seems like they might be, so I thought I'd give them a try. I ordered these uh, Pencil King pencils because I wanted to you know, see what they could do. And then, of course, these are the drawing pencils. These are called Unigraph and they're produced by uh, Musgrave. I don't know how long they've been making them, but they come in a variety of different uh, hardnesses and, and softnesses. And this particular pack, I think, is an H to a 6B, so it's, it's got a pretty good range. And today, I think I'll, I'll do some, some writing with these pencils and maybe some sketching. As I was collecting the shavings there in that little cup there, the cedar shavings, couldn't help but uh, catch a whiff of the aroma of the cedar and it smells great it's just a wonderful smell now these Tennessee red pencils made by Musgrave they have this finish on them which makes them just a work of art in themselves I mean this is a beautiful beautiful pencil and I like I said I'm not absolutely positive if it is sourced with uh, local uh, Tennessee cedar trees but I, I believe they are and, and you know this cedar smells different it's a wonderful smell and anyway it sharpened very nicely um, and I had no breakage whatsoever I used this pencil for the better part of two or three hours and resharpened it a couple of times as as I did all the other pencils without any problem now here I'm going to use a Musgrave notebook I bought from Musgrave and it's a dot a notebook and so here I'll just do some writing in it and this particular pencil the harvest feels really nice in my hand I I guess I prefer a hexagonal pencil and uh, just easier for me to hold and it, it does have a hefty feel but this particular pencil was not uncomfortable at all and I don't see any hand fatigue using this pencil I used it all day again like I uh, I put most of these pencils to a rigorous test and uh, the eraser on the end of that pencils maybe it's, it's adequate for erasing text and writing and things like that but if you're going to erase artwork and you want to get a good you know you want to really get that mark removed you might want to go with like a Faber Castell or, or a, a plastic eraser of some kind or maybe just the old uh, pink pearl eraser would do fine um, that I, I wrote there the word outstanding and I don't he praise on every product I try but I have to say this Tennessee red pencil is is a, an excellent drawing uh, uh, utensil. So in the right hands, the harvest uh, or the number two pencil, which is a classic pencil, can be a weapon of mass creation. You can see here that I erased these marks with uh, with that Faber Castell plastic eraser, and it seemed to work pretty pretty well. So I'll test out all these pencils. Um, this is the Pencil King right here. Get some nice uh, dark values from that pencil. Um, you know, you have to work it a bit, but 
And, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if all the graphite is the same. I know it's definitely going to be different for the Unigraphic, which I'm going to try here. And those come in that, that nice green color. And this, this particular one's a 4B, but they, I think they make them in a range from, uh, I, I want to say H to, to 6B. So depending on how soft you want your mark to be or your uh, the darkness, you'd go go with the 6B maybe. Uh, I really like those as well. I think they're outstanding drawing uh, pencils. But my favorite, I think, is the, the Tennessee Red. I just love the way it feels in the hand. It smells good. It's like, uh, you know, if you could make cologne out of that, it'd probably be pretty popular. But anyway... Um, yeah, you could get a nice value range uh, from these pencils. Again, I, I'm not, uh, I haven't been to the factory myself, so I don't know what kind of graphite they're using or if it's it's the same in each each of the pencils. But but I seem to notice a subtle difference, and maybe it was just my imagination. But uh, but definitely when it came to the Unigraphic uh, pencils, those those are different different uh, hardnesses and and softness. Now here I'm just gonna draw some spheres out using the different pencils to get to harvest air and the pencil king 7900 and then here's the unigraphic which is a purpose-built drawing pencil this is the 1200 and it's a 4b uh, in softness if you wanted to use a real soft pencil you you can find them a little bit softer than this but it did just fine and here i'm just using the the tennessee red which is a, a very nice pencil so yeah each of these pencils has its own sweet properties I guess depends on what you like but um, just generally sketching with them uh, here I'm using the Tennessee red which is you know makes nice marks uh, works just fine as a as a graphite or lead pencil as you, we used to call it back in the day um, I think it's all it's all for sure graphite now but um, yeah I just did a few sketches there here I'm going to try to use some watercolor paper. This is a hot press finish. It's very smooth. So I want to be able to erase it a few times and, and uh, be able to draw. This is the first drawing I made, which is just a portrait from reference. Um, I didn't like how it came out, so I thought I'd redraw it. Now I'm going to use the Harvest Pencil, which is just, you know, standard number two school pencil, which you can find anywhere. But the, I was surprised by the value range you can get from, from this pencil. And maybe it was just... That I hadn't used a num number two in a while, but as I like to tell people, you know, in the right hands, you can do a lot of great things with a with a number two pencil. So, um, yeah, obviously it's it's uh, it's not maybe not the pencil of kings, but it's definitely the pencil uh, that many of us started out using when we were when we were kids. Um, so yeah, I I I did this drawing, redid it, erased it a couple of times, and redid it again, and eventually. Uh, grew kind of bored with it so I decided maybe to draw this uh, portrait of a maybe a salty old sea fisherman or captain whatever uh, here so uh, yeah I took took a stab at that somebody you might find in like a New England fishing town or maybe somewhere in a fjord of, in a fjord near uh, Norway or something but anyway um yeah, the pencils themselves are great. I can't uh, recommend them strongly enough. I think they're well-built uh, pencils. They they do a great job for sketching, drawing, you know, writing, whatever you fancy. Uh, I think these pencils are 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 just fine for any of that. Um, not only are they are they fine for it, they're what makes them exceptional for me is that hey, they're built right here in in America by people who care about what they do, their American jobs. They've been in business for a long time, and from everything I've read up about the company, they're, they're pretty good to the community. I think they're trying to source uh, things responsibly, and by the looks of it, um, you know, they're, they're doing a good job. Now, as a, a sort of bespoke pencil manufacturer, I think they've managed to survive by finding a way to cater to, 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 to other businesses in ways that like uh, mass manufacturing can't do. So in that regard, um, I was happy to find that I could still buy just a pack of pencils from the company. And you just, just want to buy a pack of pencils, you can. And I will probably buy more from Musgrave based on my experience so far. I have to tell you, it's it's been good. 
So check out the uh, Musgrave Pencil Company in uh, Shelbyville, Tennessee, if you're ever down that way, or just go online and check out their pencils. And um, again, they're not paying me to do any of this or to talk about their pencils at all. I just happen to love pencils. And um, these are, are some very, very good pencils. So kudos to you, Musgrave, for a great job uh, manufacturing some, some great products in terms of pencils. Um, I've really enjoyed uh, every minute I've got to spend with your pencil. So here's to another 100 years of Musgrave Pencil Company. Job well done. So long for now. This has been Marty for OwingsArt.com. <laughs>